Hi guys, it's Master Coach Tony Morgan and I'd just like to mention if you're a gas engineer you can watch hundreds of my how-to and overview videos in my Bora Pair library. More about that at the end of the video. Today's video we're working on a Fiamma Compact electric combi. So in today's video we're going to be looking at using the Bora Pair library and how powerful it is. And I've got my son with me Miles, so he's been looking at the Bora Pair library Again, this particular job, and the job what we're going to be doing is changing the housing what holds the flow turbine, so it's like the, the main block on the left hand side. So, we're going to open the boiler up, and as I'll talk through what he's learned, how he's given the confidence for him to do this job. So, you're not going to see all of the job, you're going to see parts of the job because this has already been done on a previous video, which you can see in the library. But you're just going to see how he's got his information, his knowledge, his confidence to take the job on. So you'll see how he performs. So before we got to this job, I used the boiler repair library on this particular boiler for this particular job. So I have a clear image of the steps I need to follow. And I've been using visualisation, so now we're going to put it into practice. We open the hot tap for us. So the tap's opened. So because we're, there's only one floor in this building and we've got underfloor heating, everything's under the boiler so we don't need to isolate the floor return. So to get the case off you've got your two screws underneath. After watching the video on the boiler repair library I know what to do next after we've got the case off, so we need to get this out of the way by right, removing these two screws on the side. Can we put that to one side? So now we're going to open the PRV to let the pressure out the boiler. You have to hold it in the right spot. I'm just pumping up the expansion vessel. Ah, ah. Don't like it. Under all the connections, as you can see, um, we've managed to pull it out. So now, as I remember from the boiler repair training video, we need to take this off and put it onto our new one. And this is the reason why we're changing it. As you can see, all the scale impacting on the propeller of the turbine. Put our new o-rings in on the back of this unit, made sure they're flat and we put our o-rings on this so now we're going to put it back in and then reconnect the plate. I'm just trying to get the plate in now, lining up. Right, so we've reconnected all these joints and tightened them up. Now we're just putting the cold feed and the flow. That's a return. The return. Just reconnecting the cold and the return. So we've turned back on the cold water inlet. Just filled it back up and it's all good. Just going to open this valve to let any air out. So we've got the hot water back on, it's all working, but without watching that video from the boiler repair library I wouldn't have had a clue the steps that I need to take to repair this fault, so you should definitely check it out. So that's the end of today's video, so like I said you can watch hundreds of my how to and overview videos, so all you need to do is look in the description below to find out how you can access the boiler repair library today. So thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next video. Bye for now.